Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, guys, we're getting information now coming out of the Philippines. This has been a, as we said, it was, uh, there would be issues. 6.5 earthquake that hit the Philippines, and it was only 6.5 kilometers deep, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. So I told you this will cause damage. It has. We have early uh, reports coming in that at least two people are dead. 100 people are injured, and those numbers will climb. A building has collapsed. Several, several, uh, there's still people trapped in this collapsed building, and that's just the initial information we're getting. This strong, very shallow earthquake shook the central portion of the Philippines this morning, just a couple hours ago, leaving at least two people dead and, and injuring over 100 people. And there are still others still trapped in the debris. The U.S. Geological Survey said the 6.5 earthquake struck at a 6.5 kilometer depth, which is four miles. But the Filipino seismologists are saying, no, no, no. It was only two kilometers deep or 1.2 miles deep. And said the quake caused by movement of the Philippine fault was felt strongest in Latit Kanga town there in the Philippines. The shallow earthquakes generally cause more damage because they're nearer to the earth's surface. So we knew this was big. This is coming just a few hours, just about three or four, about three hours actually, after the 5.8 earthquake hit in Lincoln, Montana, and has had several aftershocks over three and four there in Lincoln, Montana. And of course, Lincoln, Montana is 233 miles from Yellowstone National Park. The super volcanoes uh, size encompasses Lincoln, Montana. So what we're dealing with here, the fact that Yellowstone, who had had a 4.6 earthquake two weeks ago and has been followed by over 900 earthquakes in 14 days at Yellowstone, the super volcano is awakening. And this earthquake today in Lincoln, Montana, proves that. There's no question, we got a problem. That's why NASA has been flying over top of the area with their ultra, uh, uh, super ultra infrared uh, telescope that can look down into the depths past the uh, Earth's crust and to study the movement of the, mo of the molten uh, um, uh, lava, the magma that's moving uh, in Montana. Uh, it's all taking place right now. We're watching it very closely. This is a major quake, though, in the Philippines. And so we're going to be on top of these, this, with the earth shaking and quaking. You know, the, Jesus said in the last days, there would be all kinds of apocalyptic signs that would tell you you're in the last days. For instance, Jesus said there would be false Christ and false prophets would rise and they would deceive many. And you'd hear of wars and rumors of wars. He said, see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. The end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there would be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. I said all of these are beginning to start. Now, I did a television show, uh, actually a two-part show that aired uh, called The Seven Prophetic Earthquakes. It's on my YouTube channel. If you want to Google it and text it, uh, you, you can search it and find it and watch it. But in which I share with you the s seven quakes that took place during seven very prophetic times in, the, in our history. Uh, when Major earthquakes hit when God was doing major things. And so anytime you see this kind of activity going on, you got to start asking yourself, what is the Lord trying to say? Jesus said it'd be one of the end time signs and we're seeing it. Look, there was a major earth shaking quake when Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. There was a major quake uh, when Jericho came tumbling down for Joshua, there was a major earthquake when Christ died on the cross and another major earthquake when he rose from the dead. There will be an, an unbelievable earthquake that will kill as many as 7,000 people when the two witnesses have died and when they raise from the dead, there will be an earthquake that will literally shake Jerusalem 
and will kill 7,000. And that same quake is mentioned by the prophet Zechariah in the 14th chapter of Zechariah when he says it will split the Mount of Olives in half. Now, we've done research. There is a small fault line. It runs right through the Mount of Olives, right into the Temple Mount. So you can look for this to take place. It's Zechariah 14's earthquake. Prophetic earthquake will also be the earthquake of Revelation 11 when the two witnesses raised from the dead and the Lord comes and sets his foot on the Mount of Olives. This is in your Bible, so it's very important. That earthquake has not happened. So there is so many, and there's many other prophetic earthquakes that are so significant. So we watch the quakes daily for seven and a half years. I've watched them every day. And we got a good handle on what's going on, including, do you guys remember? I covered the 188-day earthquake cycle, that every 188 day, there was a major earthquake of over 7.0. It included the 8.2 earthquake in Concepcion, Chile. It then was the, um, uh, there was this major quake that hit Christchurch, New Zealand, 7.4, killed about 146 people. And then we had the 9.0 earthquake that killed thousands, 26,000 after a massive tsunami in uh, Fukushima, Japan. Those all hit on boom. One, this one, Chile, 188 days later. Christchurch, New Zealand, 188 days later. Uh, uh, Japan, and then it went on 188 days later. Uh, Fiji, and then went right on seven consecutive times. So earthquakes, prophetic signs. Now we're, we're looking at these earthquakes that are happening, shaking things up. We got to really get, we're going to be all over this today. So don't you dare miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. That's 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbigleyprophecy.com. I'll see you this afternoon. Are you serious?